So the most popular video on my channel is two more RC glitches that still work in 2021. Well, almost. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a sequel. Oh, f well, I guess I could do a threequel or a second sequel, I guess. I don't know. Also, just pretend that I upload this video on the 3rd of January, okay? Thanks. So I'd say let's start with a pretty known glitch called the Invincible Firebro glitch. First, you want to capture Glidon. Then go to the Iron Road halfway point checkpoint. Then you want to jump against this wall, and with a little effort, you should be able to clip through the wall. Once you clipped out of bounds, you want to fly to this area where the Firebro is located. Once in it, place Glidon and the Firebro on this metal gate. Then capture Glidon, and while jumping upwards, uncapture him to clip through the gate. Now, this might take a little while to perform correctly, but again, just make sure to jump upwards, and while you're mid-air, uncapture Glidon to clip through. Now we're almost done. Place Cappy on the Scarecrow, and jump on the Firebro to place him on the other side of the gate. As you can see, the Firebro is now invincible. Yay! Now, there's actually quite a lot of stuff you can do with him, like torture him, or what a normal person would do, use him to reach some insane heights, like shown here. I also think the Firebro is a little bit sleepy. Sorry, man. This glitch is probably the best way to reach insane heights in Super Mario Odyssey. If the Glidon glitch didn't exist. So Glidon Upflight is another glitch that allows you to reach unlimited height with the Glidon. And I would say it's actually easier to perform than the Invincible Fibro glitch. It's performed by walking off the side of a slope, then immediately start flying using motion controls and slowly turning 90 degrees to the right. Once you've turned 90 degrees, Glidon should just start flying upwards. If you still don't understand how it works, well here's an explanation for us to read. This glitch can actually be very useful if you want to skip some stuff in the game or to reach some areas you will never be able to reach otherwise. If you want to know a glitch that isn't useful? Introducing the Invisible Cappy glitch. The glitch that allows you to kill Cappy by performing a cap throw near an NPC and kicking an object at the same time. And congratulations, you successfully killed Cappy. Oh, what the fu- Alright, you guys want to see another glitch with Glidon? Let me show you the no-clip Glidon glitch. By capturing an uproot, taking him up to the observation deck where Glidon is located, jumping on him and immediately uncapturing the uproot, Glidon should just clip through the floor. And yes, this dude is f***ing glitched. Alright guys, now it's time for out-of-bounds glitches. It would be quite literally impossible to cover every single out-of-bounds glitch in the game, so here are my highlights. Out-of-bounds Metro Kingdom. Come to this place, ground one on the barrel, to clip through this building. Out-of-bounds Mushroom Kingdom. Come to this place to roll console into this wall just to find out there's nothing to see here. Out-of-bounds Snow Kingdom. Capture one of these guys to precisely jump and uncapture him to clip through the f***ing window. How is this even allowed? Out-of-bounds Insane Kingdom. Use Glidon to clip through this building, and this building, and this building, and this building. Oh wait, this isn't a building. Out-of-bounds in Cascade Kingdom. Out-of-bounds in Lake Kingdom. Out of once in Mooded Kingdom, out of once in Lost Kingdom, out of once in CZ Kingdom, out of once in Luncheon Kingdom, out of once in Bowser's Kingdom, and finally, you can use a frog to clip out of once in Moon Kingdom. <sighs> Let's go on. Alright, now let me ask you something. Do you hate Mario Odyssey? Do you hate it so much that you just want to break it? No, not like that. Then you're in luck. All you gotta do is come to the sub area in Lake Kingdom, capture the zipper, collect this key, teleport anywhere and cry. Too easy for a pro like you? Come to Cap Kingdom, go on top of this ledge and immediately talk to the NPC. If done correctly, Mario should just moonwalk in place. <laughs> Still too easy for you? Well then just go watch my 10 ways on how to break Super Mario Odyssey video, goddammit. Alright, now I think it's a perfect time to talk about speedrun glitches. Glitches that speedrunners use in their runs to, well, actually finish the game faster. Let's start with Nut Clip. By destroying this Nut in Wooded Kingdom, backflipping and precisely throwing Cappy behind you at the right time, you should be able to clip through this wall. Once you got the Nut Clip, you can do whatever this is. There's also a beat on YouTube you can use to help you out with this glitch. Uh, sorry guys, I was just listening to Michael Jackson. Another cool speedrun glitch is Lake Clip. By doing this, you can activate the painting checkpoint and get this moon at the same time. Very easy, I know. But my favorite speedrun glitch must be the CRC. By doing incredibly complicated and precise inputs in two-player mode, you can actually teleport copy wherever you want. Yes, wherever you want. This glitch is incredibly hard to do, and that's probably why it's only used in minimum captures. Alright, do you like physics? Well, I don't, but for all of you who like physics, here's a pretty cool physics-related glitch. Get two turnups, place one of them right behind the question mark blocks, and the other on the wall. Then, kill this band pro, and immediately when he responds, throw copy at him, and this should happen. Okay, never mind, I love physics. And last but not least, we have my personal favorite Mario Odyssey glitch, the ladder glitch. 
First, you want to place any of the letters, in my case the letter A, on the back corner facing this direction. Next, you want to place the letter M perpendicular to the other letter. Next, you want to get the scooter, drive up to the M, carefully jump with it and hop off the scooter. If done properly, the scooter should be propped almost vertically on the M. Then, capture the M and slowly walk against the other letter. Finally, uncapture it, capture the other letter and bring it out of bounds. Now, the reason why I love this glitch is simply because you can do so much with it, like going insanely fast or cheat the jump rope minigame. As you can see, this is very OP and you won't get banned for doing this. Also, uh, definitely real. Alright, you know what? I'm tired. Like and subscribe. See ya.